Lukaku fever hits 90 degrees. Lukaku is going to be playing in the number 90. Edin Dzeko already wears the number 9, so he says out of respect he'll be wearing the number 90. It's a bit of a stretch, but some are suggesting that this is also a little dig at Chelsea for the 90 million profit that Inter made. I think that might be a bit of a stretch, but Don, well, what did no, you no, make? No, no, it's not a bit you of know? a stretch. It's, 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 it's a country mile of a stretch. It's it's a marathon of a stretch. <laughs> it's a global stretch. This goes, this has got to stop, right? He's, he's just he hasn't got the number nine shirt, right? I'm sick of this guy already, right? His attitude's been awful, right? And we've talked about him, you know, at Christmas time, blah blah blah. His professionalism, and listen, we can all have good times and bad times and play well and not play well, but his professionalism at the end and how he's handled his time at Chelsea was just appalling. But this is just a case of going in there and somebody's got a number nine jersey and they're giving them number 90. But let's, let's be frank. Who the hell cares what numbers are on the back of a shirt? People get caught up in these kind of things. Oh, the club badge. Oh, the number in the back of the shirt. Oh, oh they're just going and play. Do you think Chelsea fans were caring what number he wore? Not all they cared about and Thomas Tuchel cared about was Romelu Lukaku turning up and being committed to that club. And he wasn't. All Inter are cared about now is him coming back and being the Romelu Lukaku that he was when they won the Scudetta. Have I put the hammer down in this segment yet or what? Are you going to try and keep this going? <laughs> no, it's Because if we're going to try and keep this going, I'll stop now. Well, we but it's not a 90 plus 7 because of the money. Right? It's not. Right, before we start, unless anybody else thinks differently. Yeah, so don't think, he might have had a few digs at Chelsea, but this isn't one of them. Uh, Craig has had a fair few digs at Chelsea himself, Don. No, but I, I, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I have a dig at everybody. <laughs> over the last season, I don't, particularly. Well, they deserved it. <laughs> well, whether they did or they didn't. Hold on, let me, check, have, let, me right? check, let me check to see if I've got a wage slip in here from last... No, I don't, I don't get paid from them now, so... <laughs> What the so you're hell? not going to be nice about them. No, why should I? Uh, Don, we have got you on, though, since this move's been made official. What do you make of it? It was coming. It was coming ages ago. I mean, I remember doing this this program a couple of weeks back, and, and Gab done his Gabometer or whatever it's called, and he had the chances three out of ten, and I was like, three out of ten? I went, it's like a nine out of ten. Like, you didn't want to be at Chelsea. His heart was never there. He was pining for the move back to Inter from probably day one or week one. So it was always going to happen. It was just the, it was just the financial side of it. Could Inter make it happen? Were Chelsea willing to take a bit of a loss or a, a massive loss, obviously? Um, but Craig's right on the numbers. I mean, fans get caught up with the numbers. I mean, I heard some Arsenal fans having a go at Eddie and Ketia because he's took Thierry Henry's number 14 shirt, I believe. And I'm like, who cares about the, the numbers on the back of a shirt? It doesn't represent the past player that you've took and anything. You know, the 90s, I've got no idea what, what the meaning behind of it is. Is it a dig from him saying I'll take the number 90 because jeko has got the nine and it's a little bit of a dig at the money? I don't think he's thinking like that. I'm not sure if he's... I'm not sure if that's anywhere near the forefront of his mind. I think he's happy to be back. I think Inter are happy for him to be back. The ultras, not quite just yet. So they've <laughs> said he, he needs to do a lot of work to appease them because they accused him of, of legging it in the first place. So, um... I think you'll do well. I think it's tailor-made for him. Ed and Jekko and Natalia Martinez playing alongside him. I think you'll score goals. You'll do well. You'll get fit again. Uh, Jules, can you wade in on this uh, number debate? Do you care about the number on a footballer's shirt? <laughs> I, I, I don't. I love football shirts, as you know. I, I love numbers. I don't think there's anything in the number 90. And if and if there was, I could not care less if it's to dig or not. If it is, if if he did it on purpose, I think he's very childish. I think he's above that anyway, because I, I don't think there's any bitterness from Romelu Lukaku towards Chelsea anyway, because we've said it on the show many times, and and Don just said it as well. He, I don't think he wanted to be there in the first place, and you know what? I don't think Thomas Tuchel really wanted them, wanted him there in the first place either. So, this move makes everybody happy. Thomas Tuchel, Chelsea, even with the loss. Romelu Lukaku, good for him. I think he's going to score goals. I agree with that. I think him and Lautaro are so, were so well together. And it's exactly what he was missing at Chelsea. They, never, they ne were never able to find the, the Lautaro to Romelu Lukaku like he had at Inter. So good luck to him. Let's move on to talk about Neymar. Oh, what, what, would you like me to scuffle this one? <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.